EastEnders, Coronation Street and Emmerdale have had some pretty outrageous off-screen deaths that have left fans pulling their hair out. One of the many reasons why fans love to watch the shows is because they fall in love with the characters on their screen. But as we all know, British soaps don't always have a happy ending. And a number of our favorite characters from the BBC and ITV shows haven't had the justice they deserve. Let's have a look. Fat Boy Fat Boy, who went by the real name of Arthur Chubb, was last seen on our screen six years ago. Actor Ricky Norwood played the much-loved character between the years of 2010 and 2015. The DJ got caught up in Phil Mitchell and Vincent Hubbard's ongoing feud, which later meant that he ended up losing his life. After growing close to the evil businessman, he tried to convince him to stop trying to kill Walford's one and only bad guy. However Vincent got fed up with Fayboy's interference and told him he would end up hurting Dot Cotton if he didn't leave the square. Viewers watched Fat Boy watched Walford on Christmas Eve in 2015, and two days later were told he was killed in a car crash. Paul Truman Patrick Truman's adoptive son Paul, Gary Beadle, joined the square in 2001. He was involved in a number of storylines including his fiery relationship with Janine Butcher, becoming a dad and getting involved in drugs. In 2004 he started getting involved in dodgy dealings with dealer Andy Hunter, which later led to his death. After getting caught dealing by the police, Paul told the coppers everything he knew about evil Andy and when the crook found out, he got someone to kill him. Paul knew what was going to happen to him and decided not to run to keep his family safe. He jumped into a car with a man who he knew was going to kill him and asked him to make it quick. That was the last fans ever saw of Paul. Angie Watts Anita Dobson played the former Queen Vicland lady between 1985 and 1988. Her character relied heavily on drink to keep her going throughout the day and it soon caught up with her. In 1988 she decided to move to Spain to try and keep off the booze and eventually found love with a friend called Sunny. Thirteen years later it was revealed that Angie had passed away from cirrhosis of the liver. Cindy Beale Ian Beale's ex-wife Cindy, played by Michelle Collins, was killed off in 1998. Cindy first made her appearance in Walford ten years prior working on her mum's market stall. The entrepreneur was madly in love with Simon Wicks and tried to make him jealous by dating Ian Beale. The pair ended up getting married, but things don't end well after she cheated on him with Ian's half-brother David Wicks. After the former owner of Deals on Wheels got bored of her, she believed that her only option to get him back is to get an assassin to kill Ian. She later fled to Italy in 1996, but was later caught by the police and sent to prison. Cindy died in prison after giving birth to Nick Holland's daughter. Katie Armstrong Georgia Mayfoot played receptionist Katie from 2010 to 2015 in the ITV soap. Her alter ego was involved in a number of juicy storylines including a teen pregnancy and a secret affair. 
Katie left Weatherfield in 2015 to go and live in Portugal with her mom, but two years later died in a car crash that wasn't aired on our screens. Lucy Barlow Lucy's time in Weatherfield was very short-lived, only lasting between 2002 and 203. The florist, Katie Carmichael, is the mother of Simon Barlow and Peter Barlow's ex-wife. She has a very messy relationship with the alcoholic, where they went behind his fiancée Shelley on wins back. Peter soon found out that Lucy was pregnant and decided they had to tie the knot, keeping it a secret he was still engaged to Shelley. Lucy soon got her own back and moved to Australia with Simon, but sadly died from breast cancer in 2008, meaning that the youngster had to return to the cobbles. Rachel Breckel Gemma Oden played the cleaner in the Dales from 2011 to 2015. She gave birth to her son Archie in 2012 after having a one-night stand with Jai Sharma. Rachel later got engaged to Sam Dingle, but had to flee the village after getting blackmailed in 2015. Four years later it was revealed that Rachel died of a heart condition at home. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun Showbiz team? Email digishowbiz at thesun.co.uk or call us direct on 0207782422. We pay for videos too. Click here to upload yours.